Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're talking about a fixed blade. This one is a BX2, which is made by Bowler Blades. Bowler Blades came out in uh, 2016. You can see their trademark little uh, compass marking there. All right, that's the only marking on the knife is that, which is their logo. All right, actually I have a, a business card, came with the knife. So there's the contact information, the website, Bowler Blades. Um, it's uh, two brothers that came out with this company back in 2016. All right, I think they only have this model so far, it's the BX2. And uh, I was contacted by one of the brothers on Instagram, asked if I wanted to check it out, show me pictures of it and stuff. I said, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And that was like over a year ago. <laughs> so uh, I used it a little bit when I first got it, put it away, totally forgot about it for months on end, rediscovered it like a month ago or so, and then uh, right after Thanksgiving started using it again. So now it's time for a video on it. Um, overall, I think it's really cool. Um, the price point for this one is $70 with free shipping. It's US shipping only, I believe. I don't think they do international orders. Like I said, it's a very, very small company, just uh, kind of up and coming. Uh, for $70, I think it's totally worth it uh, for a you know small to medium. I use air quotes there, small. Just depends on what kind of knives you use. Uh, but a little just D2, G10, very simple design. Um, it's definitely a user. It's a user fixed blade. It works very well. Uh, ergonomics aren't that bad at all. The only thing that I really just didn't like about it was the, uh, the fit and finish. The finish on the blade is spectacular. I really like this black wash type finish. It's really, really cool. It doesn't really show, you know, wear that much on there. Um, it's just as far as like these scales and how they fit to the tang, it's just a little bit off. So you can see right in this portion here, how those scales don't quite line up with the full tang. All right, it's a little bit short on this side. It doesn't quite line up on that side either. All right, if I tilt this a little bit, you can see a little better there. All right, so it's very uneven here, as well as looking at the side, we get the light right. You know, the scale's raised up on that side. So if you, you know, move your finger back and forth, you could feel the scales, you know, on the end here, you could probably see that. All right, it's raised a little bit more. So like I said, I mean, the, the fitment of these scales to the uh, the actual uh, blade, which again is full tang, which you can clearly see. Now, even though that bothers me, it does not uh, affect the performance of the knife whatsoever. It's just something that's worth noting, of course. I mean, you know, doing a knife review, that's the point, is talking about all the good and the bad, and that's something that's bad. Um, again, I mean, price reflects everything. So if you were to come in and sand these, you know, put the scales on, sand it down, everything, that's just an extra step. And the more steps you do, the higher you raise that price because now you're talking about man hours, you're talking about people's time, and time is money. So for $70, that's something you would have to consider. Um, I don't know, this is just one example. I don't know if they're all like this, maybe it's totally just this one, but when I'm reviewing knives, more times than not, I only have one to review, you know? So you get what you get and uh, you go off of that. You know, sometimes I'll do a video on a, a certain knife and I'll say, this is good. And someone's like, well, mine wasn't really good. Or I'll say, ah, I didn't really like this too much. And someone says, well, mine was great. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you get a lemon. It's possible this is a lemon. I don't really know. Now, don't get me wrong. $70 is not cheap to me. If it was a $10 knife, I would say, yeah, that's totally expected. You get what you pay for. But for $70, it should, you know, pretty much line up. My assumption and only a guess and an assumption is that these knives are finished and then the handle scales are put on after the fact. So they're not really, you know, fit to each individual knife. It's not like crazy sloppy or anything, but it's definitely off just enough where uh, it's something that I noticed. But again, doesn't affect performance one bit. Now, as far as specs on this, the blade is just under five inches, all right? The handle is four and a half inches and the overall length being 9.45 inches. Um, I mean, it's a very simple design, all right? So our handle just has a, a guard that flares up and you get a very good grip on this. There is some chipping on the back, which is, it's kind of funny because it couldn't be simpler. It's literally just cuts, straight cuts in, but it works, it works very well. Um, it's not overly aggressive where it's uncomfortable in the thumb, but you certainly don't slip. You do actually lock into that. So I am, uh, you know, pretty happy with the jimping that's on there. I do love the blade style. All right. Technically, I guess it's a drop point, but it's more of a drop point clip point to me. Uh, the D2 performs very well. Uh, the finish on this again, is kind of like a black wash finish. It is quite slick. It's a full flat grind uh, from the spine. So it slices very easily. Uh, most of the work I did with this was with cardboard. It's the holidays now, We've got tons of packages, extra cardboard to cut. It did a phenomenal job slicing cardboard. I did go outside uh, twice and do a little bit of woodworking, nothing major. Made a couple feather sticks, uh, batoned very, very lightly with it and did some tip testing. I do have a, a log that I always use for tip testing, so I'll just 
you know, stab it in and pry my way out. Stab it in, pry out. I only go in probably, I don't know, an eighth of an inch or so. It's just to make sure that the tip isn't, you know, going to easily deform or snap off or anything like that. And it, it passed that test very easily. Uh, like I said, it is a, it's a simple knife. It is a very simple D2 fixed blade. Uh, the $70 price tag is very appealing to people kind of getting into maybe outdoor stuff. Maybe you don't have any fixed blades. You know, it's just another option. Like I said, I mean, it was, it was very impressive overall. Now, the sheath works well. There's good retention on this. It's not hard to get in and out at all. All right, but it does retain it, so it's not going to fall out. In fact, I carried it like this, just trying out this uh, Ulti clip. All right, this uh, clip comes with the sheath. All right, it's kind of an interesting clip. There's like a plate on the back here. It's very hard to pull up. And then you have this hooked piece, okay? So what you do is you put this wherever you want, over a belt, um, you know, the seam of your pants. Uh, in my case, I carried it um, upside down like this on some uh, molly webbing on the shoulder strap of a backpack. All right, so this is on the right front part of my chest. And then when you put this plate down, all right, basically just holds this piece in, okay? So the top part of the plate has like a little hook on the end. And when you push down, it just, it just pins it. That's all it does. So it's not going to easily lift up at all. All right, so that totally held fine. The knife didn't fall out of the sheath. Just did a little, you know, like one mile hike. I have a trail that's by me. It's about a mile or so. Uh, just a quick little, little trek and held totally fine just for the testing purposes. I will note though, the distance between these holes, you can do, you know, combinations of, holes next to each other but you can only really use one screw it doesn't reach so in other words if you want to carry this like scout style let's say just as an example you would be utilizing one of these holes with this particular clip not to say it's not going to work or anything but i like the security of both you know screws be able to be used so i basically just pop the clip on just to see if it would work and it does not my favorite style but it definitely works so i mean that's pretty much it it is a very simple knife it does work very well like i said just a little bit of a downside with the misalignment of these scales i have no idea if it's just on this particular one or not uh but overall i do like the knife especially for the 70 dollar price point uh, but pretty cool just a new company definitely worth uh, keeping an eye on like i said last couple of years there's been so many different companies popping up left and right so just tons and tons of options and options are good so if you're in the market for you know a fixed blade under 100 bucks d2 might be something you want to look at and like I said, you can always contact the brothers and, you know, make sure that if you buy one of these knives that the scales are going to line up properly. Because even though it doesn't affect the performance, some people would be bothered by the misalignment. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.